is Amanda Admeyer and I teach in the geology department here at Humboldt State and I teach Geology 106 Earthquake Country. The cool workshop was a great opportunity to talk with other teachers about how they interact with students online and it also gave you a chance to step back from your course a little bit. Um, when you teach and develop certain activities, uh, you in your head know what you want students to get out of those activities, but stepping back from them and looking at your assignments compared to what the state system would like students to gain from the class is a great way to evaluate how well your activities are meeting the students' needs as well as the, the needs that you are wanting to express to those students as well. I think they're a great benefit. Um, there's a lot of things that you have in your mind that you want to do and you have these great ideas. Oh, I want to create this activity or I want to, to do something that meets this requirement in the rubric. And they're, they're always there to give you at least ideas or, or help you construct how best to accomplish that activity or, or display that information to your students. And so I've, I've found the instructional designers that I've worked with, as well as all of them that were at the, the training to be extremely beneficial. I mean, they're open, they're, they're always there to answer your questions, which is a huge thing when you get to a point where, you know, you might know a lot about computers and, and these different Moodle program, but at the same time, you don't know where to find the button so that you can change the, the tab label. So they're, they're a great team to work with. You know, one of the things that I took away from the class was a little bit more individuality in the sense that I started making more videos and making things a little bit more personal with the students. Um, there's, there's assignments we want them to do and activities we want them to complete, but I've noticed that if you can interject more of like the humor and the lightheartedness to it and they can see my face, um, posting little videos to them, welcoming them to the week as well as the semester, uh, wrapping up the semester with a video of here's what I hope you've taken away from the class. Um, for a topic like earthquakes and, and natural hazards, it can be a little heavy. And so I've noticed that the more kind of light humor that I can integrate into the course, um, I think the more the students get out of it because they see me not as just uh, a, a figure online where they have to report things, but they actually can have communication and, and conversations. And so I found that overall being really important from all of the, the categories in, in the cult rubric that we had to do because as you work through the rubric, you go back and you look at each of these things that you've created and having a chance to say, oh, well, this activity I do really gives them a chance to explore this concept or this idea and kind of tying that all together. I, to I totally know where you're coming from. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Moodle sometimes has its quirks, which makes it a little complicated. Uh, some of the changes they've made with the new Moodle I have found to be uh, very beneficial. Um, and it's you can make it very streamlined. A lot of the times I think people open up Moodle and they think it has to look one particular way. But there, you know, when you talk to your instructional designers, there are so many things that they can do to, to customize the page so that it looks kind of the way you envision, you know. Um, it is a lot of work up front. It does take a lot of time to lay everything out to make sure that you have things organized the way you want them for your students, but in the long run it really pays off.